It's been quite the year for James Charles from defending his reputation to the press to launching his brand and more accusations made against him. It's been another year of not looking good, but somehow despite someone sharing their story of interacting with him at a young age not too long ago, to everyone's surprise, James and his brother reunited for Christmas. And basically, if you aren't aware, this was news that was released over the summer that the two of them were not in communication. So this is a very crazy and very unexpected thing to be seeing this week. But ahead of James launching his brand this year, he decided to sit down with Cosmo for an interview and they really got into it, talking about his online journey, cancellations, boys, all of it. It was titled, James Charles would like to be uncanceled, please. And it was very clear that James was trying to address some of the drama in an attempt to kind of defend himself and get himself ready to launch this brand, probably in hopes that he would look less problematic, but I don't think that any of this actually helped his image at all. In the article, they really dove into everything that's been said about James, and he admitted to them that because of everything that's been said about him and the accusations and everything, him and his brother have not spoken in quite some time. They wrote, the fallout became deeply personal when his younger brother, who works as a model in New York City, City, stop talking to him because of the allegations. It's been two years since they last spoke, Charles says. This part in the article was quite alarming to most, I'd say, because the fact that his own brother wasn't talking to him due to everything that's come out, it wasn't a good look. I was personally shocked that he would even share such information since the way the article went, it seemed like he did want to be uncanceled for everything that's come out. And with this, it only made everything that much worse. Because if your own family isn't even talking to you, then it just comes across like, you know, it really is just as bad as everything everyone is thinking. At least that's how it seems. I mean, when you hear someone's own family isn't even on their side, it's bad. I don't know why he even mentioned this in the article. He probably assumed that this was going to get him some sort of sympathy, but I think people are all out of any sort of sympathy for James. The only time people were ever willing to feel an ounce of it was after the Bye Sister video when he created that second video. He brought receipts and people suddenly turned to his side for a second. But obviously, as time has passed, more and more has come out about him and people realized over time that Tati and Jeffrey might have just been telling the truth after all about James. So to see that this Christmas was a reunion of sorts has me wondering what happened in the last couple of months for James to be on good terms with his brother in order to spend the holidays together. James shared that him and his family had a joint Christmas Eve dinner with makeup artist Alexis Oakley and her family. They were all at James's house and he took a photo showing his brother at the dinner table. The first photo that James shared, his brother looked like he didn't really want to be there, but as he shared more from the dinner, it seemed like everyone was on good terms. He shared photos of him and his brother together and photos of them riding bikes together. And it certainly is a shock to those who read this Cosmo interview six months ago. I mean, who knows what conversations have been had since then, but it definitely is crazy to think that within the last six months, they've suddenly started talking again after two years. Especially since last month, a TikTok went viral from someone named Matthew Lawrence. It was his only TikTok posted to his account at the time, but it was him sharing his story of interacting with James back in 2020. He alleged that when he was 16, James was in his DMs asking for an age check and ended up adding him on Snapchat. So here we go. November 7th, 2020, 924. Age check. You're thinking could be harmless. He's just asking for my age. Um yeah, it wasn't. So this is a really complicated but also uncomplicated situation, which is why I never talked about it because I just didn't have the heart to. But basically, he DM'd me that. And I responded and I said, I'm a very mature 16. Now I understand right off the bat, I shouldn't be talking like that. I should not be egging someone on like this or like trying to like entice them. That wasn't my intent, I'm sure, but that's definitely how it came off. And I understand that now. But that being said, no matter what, I was a child and he was like 22. Like, and it was also James Charles. So you're 16 and you're seeing this and it's like insane. I, I didn't know what to do. My brain was so like, it, it was empty. I had no thoughts going through. I had no idea what to do. I already said that, but it's so true. We had like maybe five texts back and forth on Instagram. It was age check. I'm a very mature 16. Oh damn, don't want to catch a case. 
And then after that, it was just like kind of stupid. Like that should have been end of conversation. Um, but then he proceeded to add me on Snapchat. So this is 1023. So an hour after this, or after I had responded to him and had the conversation, no. Again, you could just be like, oh, he could have added you on Snap before he got your age and thought maybe you were 18, like whatever. No, this was, I'm telling you right now, this was after that. Um, so you can believe that or not. But he then proceeded to snap me and we snapped for a while. Didn't, didn't really talk much, like whatever. Then I get this snap one day. Now, this is November 24th, 2020, uh, James Charles. I don't know if this was the actual snap. I don't have any screenshots of my snaps, but I opened this snap and I swear to God, it was a full act of like him in a mirror, something, whatever. And I was just like, oh, what the f To which he responded, what, what did I send? I said, you just sent a child your ass pic, actually. And then I kid you not, he said, oops, sorry. That was for my kitty girls group chat. Or maybe someone else. I don't know. Sorry. Blocked me immediately. Right then and there. So for this to have come out and James saying that the allegations were the reason why him and his brother weren't talking, but for them to talk all of a sudden is very interesting. But there's just so much to be said about this particular video that was made about James. Like you shouldn't even need to be asking for an age check. And if you do, that's a sign that you shouldn't even bother talking to that person because why take the risk? At least James cannot afford that risk. I know that this is a story from 2020 that is just now coming out, but seriously, the fact that he was even doing this at one point is gross and I hope that he has realized how inappropriate and creepy and wrong this all is and hasn't continued his behavior but I think that's something a lot of people would have a hard time believing given just how many similar stories to this have been said over the years. But just a little over a month after Matthew came out with this story, James and his brother seem to have made up. Hopefully it's all a sign that James has learned his lesson and has been able to somehow prove that to his brother in order to be on good terms with him. Him, and I think we can all hope that's the case at least. But if it is true that he has changed his ways, I feel like he could greatly benefit from being open about his actions and talking about moving forward by not going for people who look young and end up actually being young. But I mean, in the same article in Cosmo, he talked about still asking for IDs and being a club bouncer, which isn't exactly something to laugh about. I know when James was first getting called out, people were like, you need to start asking for IDs because he kept saying he was getting catfished and people were lying about their age. But even still, like having to ask for IDs is just such a weird thing. Like it just shouldn't even have to be like, it's creepy in itself to have to ask someone for their ID, like on Instagram. Like, no, that is just not how we should be finding people to date by asking for an ID. Like if you're suspicious of someone's age, just don't even. But in the article over this summer, they wrote, he's more cautious now, although not so much that he's given up on the DM sliding completely. Instead, he started requiring potential romantic interest to provide IDs before he'll engage. I'm a club bouncer at this point, he says, which even still hasn't stopped the occasional breach of trust. Earlier this year, a TikTok user shared snippets of a flirtatious conversation he had with Charles in which Charles outlined his requirements for a boyfriend. Charles also tells me he recently caught a 17 year old trying to lie about his age by taking out a digit on his ID. I think there's just so much to be said that he's more cautious now, but not cautious enough that he's like not sliding in DMs and like asking for IDs. And obviously we're seeing here from this TikTok that came out last month that he asked for an age check, but then still proceeded to allegedly add this person on Snapchat and send photos. Like he's just asking for trouble. And the fact that a similar story has come out time and time again, that's just the worst part. Tons of people over the years have told James to just get on the apps because on there, if someone is catfishing or lying about their age, it wouldn't be on him. It would be on the app that they let that person get through. There was just tons of people of status on dating apps that, you know, I feel like James could just go on there and it would be fine. Like he's not the only person that has a following that's ever tried to date. Obviously, it's much harder when you want to be like creepy and prey on people that need a little age check. So he definitely needs to work through that. But hopefully like the fact that he's 
in communication with his brother means that he's changed his ways, but I don't really know. He said before that he doesn't really want to be on the apps because he doesn't want people to match with him for clout or the wrong reasons, but that's going to happen on and or off the app. Having a conversation and just like unmatching if they give you a bad vibe is way better than getting in trouble and ruining your entire reputation because you keep trying to talk to people on the internet without the protection of an app backing you up that will ensure the person is of the right age. I just feel like it would save him from trouble and you'd think that that would be the most important thing to him, his reputation, but I don't know. Anyway, that's what has been shocking about James this Christmas that him and his brother have been able to come together again despite what was reported earlier this year. I certainly want to know if you guys noticed the fact that they were posting together this Christmas and what you guys think about it, if they've kind of made up or if he's maybe defended himself to his brother, maybe hopefully changed his ways. Let me know what you guys think it means that they were able to be civil in the room together in the comments. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys.